what is the Council of Europe one in five campaign to stop sexual violence against children? And why one in five? Uh, the Council of Europe one in five campaign to stop sexual violence against children was launched in November 2010 in Rome, in Italy. And we have got two aims for the campaign. First and foremost, we wish more member states to sign and ratify and implement the Lanzarote Convention, which is a very powerful tool to fight against sexual violence against children. And secondly, we also wish to raise awareness of the extent of sexual violence in the European communities and empower the children and parents um, and professionals uh, to fight against se sexual violence. And um, you asked about the, the figure, one in five, where does it arise from? Well, we base this figure on the recent uh, study, uh, studies and research uh, in this field in Europe. Um, and it is an estimate figure. Uh, we also uh, have some data available from UNICEF, from International Labour Organization and World Health Organization. And um, it is an estimate figure because at the moment it's very difficult to obtain a clear picture of sexual violence against children. Uh, first and foremost because it is a, still a taboo topic and uh, uh, children also themselves find it very difficult to talk about what has happened to them. They feel ashamed and confused uh, what has happened to them and uh, that is one of the reasons that we don't know exactly at the moment what children are and young people are experiencing. But secondly, also uh, we rely on estimates because uh, many of the member states uh, uh, don't have enough, uh, uh, they have not invested enough in collecting data. They don't have proper methodologies in use or uh, they, for example, interviewing techniques uh, sometimes, you know, require certain skills, professional skills, that we need to build capacities of uh, professionals to interview uh, young children, especially children who have experienced trauma, such as sexual violence. So we need to build that capacity to receive more information. We also need to empower children very much uh, to be brave enough to talk to somebody they trust about what has happened to them. Uh, and then we need to empower parents uh, and, uh, so that they are also brave enough to raise this topic. It is very difficult to talk to a small child, for example, about this issue. So uh, in order to have more data, we have, uh, we have to have the member states to, to invest in, uh, in the methodologies, in making sure that uh, we uh, have enough capacity to understand and uh, by uh, having more data, we are able to uh, also uh, guide the member states. Uh, the member states are able to implement policies better, and they are able to also to support victims of sexual violence and, and uh, their parents. Can you provide some examples of best practices of how knowledge and tools can help to prevent cases of child sexual abuse? Campaigning and raising awareness is a very powerful tool and that's why we have in the Council of Europe invested in this campaign very much. And what has been so excellent and wonderful in this campaign so far is that uh, we have been able to cooperate with so many different uh, people, various stakeholders, s such as uh, parliamentarians, uh, uh, local and regional authorities, uh, professionals uh, such as uh, teachers, social workers, uh, lawyers, policemen, uh, uh, let alone the civil society, NGOs, civil society organizations and uh, also we have colleagues from the UN, UNICEF and the EU that have been very much involved in the campaign and supporting us in various ways. Um, and we also think that in this campaign it's very important to, to involve children and young people so we have been also working hard and making sure that uh, we listen to the voices of children and, and young people. Um, for empowerment uh, in the campaign as a tool, uh, we have developed awareness raising material that has been very well received in the member states. Um, we have had uh, uh, contacts also from the member states saying that children have very well received this material, which makes us very happy. Um, I could uh, maybe mention a few examples of some of the member states. Uh, for example, in, in Cyprus it was an NGO that became our campaign partner. And uh, the, this NGO, uh, ever since they launched the campaign, they have been cooperating with the contact parliamentarian, 
to the Council of Europe. They have been uh, very much lobbying their, their government. So now it actually, uh, the situation is that the, uh, one of the ministries has taken over uh, the campaign and uh, they are now raising awareness using our materials and arranging various uh, awareness raising events uh, among young children and their parents uh, and also targeting schools with our materials. So that's very wonderful. We wish to also make sure that media is, is aware and uh, in some of the cases, for example, I know from uh, from the Montenegro that they actually in Montenegro are in their campaign now wishing to target the media and they are going to, in cooperation with the ministry, they are going to um, come up with some ethical guidelines for for journalists and practitioners uh, in the media sector on how to to write about sexual violence against children and to make sure also that uh, when they write about sexual violence in the media uh, or expose this uh, uh, different cases that they uh, apply to the code of ethics. So um, as you can hear, there are many ways of campaigning. Uh, some of the uh, human rights commissions, commissioners in some of the member states have been also involved, for example, in the Czech Republic. And we really hope that for uh, more ombudsmen uh, and ombudspersons uh, for children could be maybe also involved in the member states. Thank you very much, Tina Maria.